Welcome to uh, AQA Certificate for the, uh, for the Mathematics GCSE Chapter 1.6 Manu uh, Manipulating Certs. This is a great B video um, and it's the first great B video I've made so far and that should be uh, fun. So let's get started. Since uh, certs are useful for extracting uh, exact values of a uh, calculation, it is crucial that um, people who are doing further math understand how to uh, use certs. So the first thing we'll learn is how to multiply certs with another cert, how to, uh, how to simplify certs um, into something, well, simpler, um, and how to rationalize fractions. Um, these all sound a bit complicated, but I promise it's not that difficult. And so let's get on to example one. So uh, question one of examples are uh, simplify root 120. Um, it seems like there aren't a way to do this without a calculator, but um, this is certs, so there are. The first thing you have to know about thirds are that a, the root of a times the root of b will make the root of a b. This is always true for any values, and this is uh, for any roots um, of uh, any number will. So this is just a rule that you have to remember. It's just um, universal, let's say. Um, also notice that the uh, square root sign are drawn um, by my hand, so it doesn't look that good. Um, just sorry for that. <laughs> and yeah, uh, put that aside. So what we have to do first step is to make the uh, the number inside the third uh, into its um, prime fac uh, prime factors, which means um, in this case to spread them out like this. So 120 is in indeed equal to two times two times two times three times five, and um, what you can do now is whenever there are two uh, same numbers like this one, this pair, you line them up to form a positive 2. Uh, the reason is simple because uh, two of them will make a 2 squared which will cancel out the root and that is what you get after extracting it out and after calculating the inside you get to root th uh, to root 30 and that is the most simplified version of root 120 so you may ask what is this lump of mass um doesn't look pleasant does it well there is a better way to do this. Uh, instead of doing it all with thirds, you can do a uh, you can give it a let sentence which in this case would be let root 3 be x and root 2 be y and I forgot the cap. Sorry for that. Computer doesn't like to uh, register that uh, so it's a bit difficult. Uh, put that aside, um, now that uh, x is root 3 and y is root 2, we can put the question into something more familiar with 5x plus 7y minus 4x plus 3y. It's exactly the same. The beauty is you know how to do this because we've done it in previous um, sections. So. Your immediate would be able to do this without thinking, hopefully. X plus 10y is the answer, but now we want 
the answer in search form instead of in X and Y form. So we just need to convert it. Uh, just a simple click or right. It becomes root 3 plus 10 root 2. And that is how you solve uh, addition of roots. So on question 3, um, we have to rationalize um, 1 over root 3. So basically, what is rationalize? Well, that is a way of changing a fraction so that the square root don't go at the bottom. Instead, it goes on top. Uh, or in other cases, to get rid of the square root, uh, the denominator, because it is not pleasant to have a square root denominator. So how should we do that? So first, you have to know what your denominator is. In this case, root 3. Then, you have to multiply the whole thing by 1. Why do I quote that? Well, you will see. So, multiply by 1 means this. 1 over root 3 times 1. But, do you know that 1 equals to anything over anything? So, that means this is true. And, uh, we can prove that by crossing out things where this goes away and this goes away will become 1 over root 3 but we don't want to do this because we want to rationalize what to do is just multiply bottom and top and 1 uh, multiplied by root 3 will be root 3 and root 3 squared will be 3 and so we have a rationalized answer of root 3 over 3 and note that 1 over root 3 is exactly equal to root 3 over 3 it's just the presentation thing and it's a skill that you have to know when you are messing with thirds so yeah that is uh, about how to rationalize a single third so have you ever been a genius that can answer a question without your teacher telling you how to? Well, I know I have been. And uh, this, I am going to share my fail moment in a minute. But if you can do this before I tell you how to, you are a true genius. And, well, let's start. According to question 3's clue, we know we need to multiply it by the denominator over the denominator, which is 1, right? So let's do that. Here, this, um, by the power of editing, I can move this out and without crossing things out we can multiply them uh, horizontally to get this true genius I think so rationalized wait a minute well first of all I forgot the, the roofs and second what is this this is a third. Well, that means this is not rationalized because the whole point of rationalizing a number is to get rid of thirds in the denominator. But I followed the steps. What's wrong then? Well, do you remember uh, from last episode's question section, question 2 I think, 2x plus y, 2x minus y equals 4x squared minus y squared. That doesn't look, uh, not, uh, doesn't look um, special, but it is a fundamental rule 
that you have to remember a plus b times a minus b is always equal to a squared minus b squared and this is the key you don't want a third which you want to square it all but you cannot square a um, two term uh, number by multiplying itself what you have to do is to do the opposite of uh, what the sign is to get both number to be squared and so there won't be a third simple? I think so now um, after all the all these uh, fails and I managed to do this and again 3 and 3 as a root 2 as b we get 3 squared equals 9 minus root 2 squared equals 2 so that is what we have got and the final answer is just 9 minus 2 equals 7 there you go so this is my fail moment of um, my mathematic career I still remember that day it's so embarrassing so uh, here's my tip uh, remember a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared this is a seriously important rule this is also called the um, difference of two squares rule and so do uh, remember this because in thirds you are definitely 100% going to be tested for that and yeah so I think I've never seen a past paper without uh, uh, rationalizing a combined um, two terms uh, denominator so just so you know be careful about that and second if you're not sure about how to um, manipulate certs, do use algebra for certs because it's so much easier to manage and until you are absolutely sure when and what to do for certs, stick with algebra method. Uh, it's gonna take you a while but it's worth it. So, uh, these are the four questions I'm going to leave to you to do um, for this chapter and after I've added all the certs um, correctly but ugly <laughs> and I'm going to count down uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, one so these are the answers for the four questions and i hope you get it all right um the last two are a bit challenging but i think you guys are capable of doing it if you're not sure go find your math teacher and as always uh, if i help you with anything do leave a like or comment or subscribe and I will see you in the next part and oh uh, it's the end of chapter one it's so quick I'm going to do a chapter one uh, review episode uh, for um, every single uh, chapter after I've completed them with all the facts and tips and if you want it an exam. So I will see you next time.